the crash of that U.S. helicopter in Afghanistan. As we reported, it does appear that the chopper was shot down. 17 American troops were on board. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins us live at the Pentagon with more. Good morning, David. Good morning, Hannah. Just as President Bush is trying to rally public support uh, for the war in Iraq, here comes a grim reminder of that other war in Afghanistan. It now appears that 17 American soldiers were lost when their helicopter was shot down by enemy fire. The Chinook helicopter was carrying 17 members of a special operations unit into a operation against al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters in the rugged, mo rugged mountains near the border with Pakistan when a second helicopter reported seeing an explosion. U.S. military command in Afghanistan says initial reports indicate the crash may have been caused by hostile fire. The command also says that the status of the 17 aboard the Hilo is unknown, but so far there are no signs of any survivors and it has been almost 24 hours since the Hilo went down. Officials say it apparently uh, went into a mountain peak and then rolled down the slope into a ravine. The fighting in Afghanistan has escalated sharply since the spring thaw with 29 U.S. troops and an estimated 465 enemy fighters uh, killed since March. Parliamentary elections are scheduled for September and U.S. operations are designed to prevent the Taliban from disrupting those, uh, those elections. The, uh, it will take an investigation to determine whether or not this helicopter was in fact shot down, but if it was, this would be the first known instance of a helicopter being uh, brought down by enemy fire, and if, if that means that the Taliban has figured out a way to shoot down American helicopters, this would be a major new threat because helicopters are a primary means of transportation in those rugged mountains along the uh, uh, border with Pakistan. Anna? Right, certainly has very grave implications. CBS's David Martin at the Pentagon. Thank you.